Hi everybody, thank you for clicking on this video, for taking the time to have a look, see what we're up to today. Appreciate having you here. And I'm going to continue with some things that I've seen that need to be addressed. Also because I'm right in the middle of checking my entire collection. And this is my Brasso Lady Cattleya Golden Zelle. And you can see it has a sheath and there's some mealybugs that want to get in there, so we'll take care of that. But more importantly, this is what I'm seeing. The growth this year has not reached the height of last year's growth. It bloomed, but uh, it has been trying to grow new roots into the pot. And just with my same with my little fairy, it's gonna come out of the pot and I'm gonna clean it up despite it having a sheath, whether it blooms or not. I can't wait until this time next year to assess what's going on. And we're gonna have a look and take it out. But first, I'm gonna take care of the little cretins that are in my sheath that don't belong there one bit. Now, this golden cellar actually blooms in winter, so there's plenty of time for it to develop a bloom. But uh, as I saw, some roots were coming out a couple of weeks ago. I didn't think too much of it because the growth hadn't matured yet and I wasn't concerned. It was doing its thing as it normally does. However, I don't like what I'm seeing here and it's giving me pause to remember what was up with my little fairy. So I'm going to go at it, sheath or not and take care of it, clean it up, and pot it up. So I have three to do today, and I'll just take you along for the ride of unpotting and looking at the root system. Just giving it a little bit of a massage, bit by bit. Yeah, there's a lot of cleanup to be done here. And possibly a cut in the back. Maybe I can con con contain this orchid a little bit. But I don't want to dirty up my lecker too much with the dead roots, so I'll switch the trays. I want to be able to use this lecker again. It's quite clean, but you can see that there are dead roots in here, and I'm going to take care of that so that I don't have to worry about it for the next year. It's a lovely root tip there. I'll be back. Right, I have been through the root system. And this is what I'm left with, not too shabby. I cut quite a bit out and I'm very tempted actually to split this, but there are no viable roots in the back here. What you see here is actually a root growing and weaving its way through from the other side, from this one here. So in the back, I have no viable roots that I would like to encourage this eye to grow at some point and maybe this one, even though it looks a little bit dodgy, it's just the outer edges of the sheath. But um, I'm not going to cut it and separate it because then I have a very weak section. I'm going to pot it up and uh, let it get accustomed and possibly come spring next year, this is going down for a rhizome cut. Here is another growth coming, but that's next year's, I would assume. Maybe next year I can get two leads because for me, the golden cell has only ever bloomed once with one single flower. So that's, you know, be nice to get two leads, cut it, maybe get more. It's going in a bigger pot and then we shall look at the next one. All right, as the day progresses, I am now working on Brasso Cattleya, sorry, Brasso Lelio Cattleya, Chunye Good Life, number one because 
new roots, despite the fact it has a sheath. But you can see how small the pot is now in comparison to what root growth is happening. And I'm sure it can do with a refresher and a bump up. Even it's tried to come through the bottom. So all these here are compromised. Oops, no, no, they're not. But they will be shortly. So this one is growing really, really well. As I can tell by the rock hard pot. <laughs> oh, okay. There, we've got a nice one clinging onto the side. Everything's been soaked. So this should come off easily, but it's not. Maybe when I pour some of the lecker out, I have a bit better insight onto where I can wedge underneath instead of poking it. I would like to preserve this root. Not everything always has to go the radical route. Let's see if we can be successful in doing so. Nope, we are not. So without any further ado, take it back to where the green is and continue. Let's hope for a branching root system <laughs> so that I, I can get away with the root damage. So yeah, this one is in sheath also. It has never bloomed for me. Maybe now after I'm doing what I'm doing, it won't either. There's another gorgeous root, beautiful root tip. It looks compromised. It's not anymore. I think I managed to save that without breaking it. So tough as nails, seems like. And the helicopter sound above us is the, is the bushfire emergency. One of our top end, you know, the fancy beach clubs. It's called Puro Beach. It has just gone up in flames. I can see the flame. I can see the smoke from where I am. Sometimes a bit of an acrid smell comes over here. It is gone. The whole complex shops, restaurants, all of it has just gone up in flames. So there's a, a lot of activity now in the air. The ash has blown across the road, across the highway, and has ignited a residential area as well, which is very disturbing. But back to the orchids. I have to make sure that my orchids have room to grow next year, and this is not gonna happen with dead roots. Meanwhile, killing live roots doesn't help either, but you see this? Yeah, there's a lot of activity in there, but there's a lot of death in there as well. So I'm going to remove it, take care of it, Hot it up. Here we are with Chunye. Good life, number one. It's having a good life. All I did was take off the bottom in a neat cut and dug through the middle here to check for any dead roots. But there's quite a substantial network in here that actually makes me think I didn't have that much work to do. It looked like it, but nope, they're fine managed to get some moss off so some of my fall prep was done as well but I'm only removing this sheath with insecticide so that's not coming off in, in this maneuver. I'm going to pot this one up and we'll go to the last one. Last one up for inspection is my Darwinara blue which look at these roots. Yes the attempt is to save them and pot them up 
or cut them off or leave them outside. We shall see. And another one is crawling around the edge. So this one is also in sheath and I was actually wanting to refrain repotting it until I could see if it was going to bloom or not. But considering what it's doing in the pot with all these roots, they are big, they are fleshy. Let me show you. It is coming out and going into a bigger pot. Look at the size of the roots coming in there. That's just, yeah, it needs more room, clearly. And it is rock hard again, which is fabulous. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to watch that root all the time. Let me just address this crawler here. I mean, you know, I always try in the beginning to be cautious and then, you know, as the process evolves, suddenly you come up against certain barriers and you're like, ah! But I think this time, third time I was successful for now. Right, okay, here we go, one more time. So I'm gonna have to work a little faster, I think, because I'm losing light. Yeah, considerations for future outdoor filmings. If you're gonna be doing potting projects, I mean, while I'm not filming, it doesn't matter. But the ones that I do want to film, and I have to consider how to reschedule, we'll be here with a headlamp on soon. <laughs> Oh, uh, I really would like to see this one bloom, but if it chooses not to because of my actions, then at least I know we have gotten it to the sheath stage. And then better luck next year. Okay, opposite from the root growth. This way. There we go. Awesome. Well, yes. Some, some cleanup needs to be done, but there's promises of goodness in here. So I am going to chop off that long, this root here, because I have this one growing and it can stay. And what's in the pot is more important to me. So I'll get moving with that and I'll be back. Nothing like having a wonderful root system shoved in your face, huh? Oh, that makes me happy. So, Garvanaro Blue is a go. Let's get you potted up. Now, I know that I haven't shown all the other pottings up because they're pretty straightforward, but for those that are interested, I am going to pot this one up together with you. Have a little chit chat just for the sake of company. Thank you so much for watching. No, I'm not signing off yet. I'm trying not to lose my lecker, failing miserably while I thread the back roots into the back of this support, which I clearly exaggerated on, a bit overboard on up there which is a shame because I do not like wasting material, but maybe it will make a hook for a mount at some point. Who knows? Because that was an awkward length, not here, not there. Right. So I'm just going to fill up. And take advantage that I have all this space and tuck in my aerial roots. Unless you break them, then they're obsolete. There we go. But you can go down. I cut the really long one off. I got it through I got it through the entire winter of 2019, 2020. I am now done with it. It was one of those that you're kind of thinking, oh my goodness, I don't want to break it. But now that I know what's in the pot, I really don't mind either way.
And here is everything I took off from three orchids. I wouldn't consider that much, but it sure makes a difference in the pot. And then bumping the pot up also makes a difference. I've got to be careful with the light now. I don't want to blind you. But as you can see, I have three 20 centimeter pots now. I used to be able to fit four depending on the sizes, but definitely four to five 14 centimeter pots on a shelf. Yeah, three, plus the rest of my collection. So I am extremely, extremely conscious of what I'm doing and then what's gonna happen in winter. It's gonna be a fun game playing Tetris on my shelves, but the orchids need it and they're not ready to be divided. So here we are, fun and games for now. I'm just gonna enjoy the fact I've got the job done and then hopefully one day we will see the fruits of our labor and enjoy some bloom. If not, maybe next year. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I am shielding the lens now from the sun. I appreciate you spending the afternoon with me. I hope it wasn't a tedious, boring video, but not always do people repot cattleya type orchids with sheaths. So in this case, I wanted to see what's gonna happen if they will bloom or not. And that would be our three candidates. And thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day, evening, morning, whatever the case may be in your area of the world. However, more importantly, stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.